It's a scientific breakthrough some in the medical community are comparing to the moon landing. For the first time, scientists have successfully removed a deadly hereditary gene from a human embryo. The main research team, made up of scientists from the U.S. and South Korea, fixed a genetic defect that could cause serious heart problems. One of the key researchers on the project said the ability to single out and remove a deadly gene was not surprisingly complicated. So it's actually molecular scissors that, that would allow you to um, direct the scissors into very specific site and specific gene. In this case, uh, we would direct into mutant gene and induce cut in DNA. The scientists involved hope they have opened a window to a time when they will soon be able to stop literally thousands of disorders, such as cystic fibrosis and Alzheimer's, from being passed down from one generation to the next, even before a baby is born. Scientists have long been tinkering with DNA, but this is the first time they've been able to fix a genetic defect without causing other harmful mutations. Scientists like those here at MIT, one of the world's premier research institutions, are certainly excited about the new possibilities that might exist. But there are now a whole host of ethical issues that need to be urgently addressed. Concern this could lead to genetically modified human beings, or designer babies, where parents try to create children that are stronger, smarter, and taller than ever before. We don't know what happens when that embryo grows into a baby, or when that baby grows into an adult. So these are some big unknowns that it'll take years to understand, and we're not really ready for this to get launched. The, the ethics, the unknowns are really um, a really big question. The U.S. and many other countries have already banned clinical trials, but this development brings what was previously hypothetical science fiction one step closer to reality. The question is no longer can science do this, it's now a matter of should they. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, Cambridge, Massachusetts.